talk about some of the new NBC shows. Uh, three new shows are being added to the fall schedule. And joining us now is our entertainment expert, Rick Bentley. Rick, it's great to have you out here at the fair. It's great to be here. You know, when, when September rolls around, the two things I think of are the Kern County Fair and the fall TV season. Yep. So what I want to do is, uh, we know that, uh, sadly, the Kern Fair will come to an end. So I'm going to try to give you some recommendations of stuff to watch once the fair is over. All right. And I'm going to start, with, and these are the three shows that NBC has coming new for the fall. And I'm going to start with what I consider the best new show of the fall season, and that's Brilliant Minds. It's a new medical drama that's going to be airing at 10 o'clock on Tuesday nights. Uh, it starts on Monday, so you, you may have to miss a little bit of the fair, but it stars Zachary Quinto. Now, you'll probably know him from Heroes or uh, other TV shows, but he's best known for playing Spock in the Star Trek movie. He plays a neurosurgeon who is, uh, it's based on a true story of Dr. Wolf, who was a famous neurosurgeon for years. Uh, what I love about the show is it's it's a mystery. He's always trying to deal with people who have had brain injuries. Like a woman has a, has brain surgery, wakes up and can't recognize her own kids. And so he, he tries to help her through that. The problem, what I like about it is they give him a flaw. He has this illness himself. He can't recognize people's faces. She so has to pick up cues of sounds and everything like that. Oh, wow. Each week is a, is a wonderful story. It's heartwarming. It's touching. It's heartbreaking at times. But it really is the standout show of the fall. And it's the only dr new drama that NBC has. They also have two comedies that are so-so. I think Happy's Place is going to be the one that people are going to want to watch because that stars Reba McIntyre. And she's got an automatic audience she's, that's going to be in there. What I, I, I want to try to imagine that it's Cheers meets Hee Haw. And so that's what it's going to be like. It's going to be a, a Vincent, a, sort of a workplace, bar place comedy. But it's going to be Reba that carries it. Her fans are going to keep it on for a while. And then the other new comedy is It's Okay. It's, it's called St. Dennis uh, Medical. And what uh, it has David Allen Greer in it, who I'm convinced can save any show. And he does with this. The only problem I have with this is it's one of those mockumentaries. And I'm so tired of that gimmick where, you know, there's supposed to be a film crew filming what they're doing. And we've seen that time and time again. And I'm just tired of it. But David Allen Greer makes it worth watching. So those are the three new shows. A great, great drama, a good comedy, and a social comedy. All right. All right. And uh, the Chicago show is returning soon. I've been waiting for those. They coming, they're coming back. I won't mention to people if they're asking. We lost. NBC gave up shows like La Brea, Magna P.I., Extended Family. Family, Quantum Leap, and Transplant. Quantum so Leap. those aren't coming back. All right. All right, Rick Bentley, as always, thank you for your insight.